Hi, Roy Oppenheim for Oppenheim Law. I want to talk today about what happens when a seller in a real estate contract decides they don't want to proceed and they're basically breaching their obligations to close. And there could be many reasons why a seller will do that. There could be a change of circumstances, change of heart, seller remorse. Maybe they think because they got a, buy, a, a better offer from another buyer that they can walk out from the seller. So typically the buyer will have a deposit up. And so the question is, what are the seller's obligations? And also it depends who we're representing. Are we representing the seller in the breach or are we representing the buyer in the breach? So we do both and we understand this area like the back of our hand and, and it, it gets very tricky and dicey. And of course, if a seller uh, really is in breach and there is a specific performance provision in the contract, the buyer could keep the seller's feet to the fire and force the seller to close, file a lien, otherwise known as a Liz pendants, on the property, preventing the seller from being able to sell the property to anyone else and tying up the property. The seller could continue to lease the property or if they're, if it's a residence, continue to live there during that period of time. But at the end of the day, uh, they could be forced to sell and they could be forced to pay the attorney fees of the buyer if they are truly in breach. So there are lots of issues here. Uh, if, you're, if you are on either side of a seller's breach, breach issue on, on a real estate deal, the first thing to do is call our firm, Roy Oppenheim, Oppenheim Law from the trenches.